Tell you what, a couple of gags, a couple of jokes. This has been one of our most insightful pods ever, Jeff. You could almost say this was a funky show. A funky? Oh, spe speaking of funky, what do we have here, Jeff? Oh my God, some funkies. These are fucking fire. Oh my God. Look at those. <laughs> Thanks to Beppo and the lads. <laughs> have a look at these. The watermelon sugars. Funky just in time, the Johnny, the Johnny Rockets. I don't know what they call them, they are insane. I'm gonna wear the shit out of those. Let's go. Cake pod this week. Yeah. Welcome back to the 100k pod season 3 episode 15 The last one for 2023 lads yeah, you're 2022 right. sorry Welcome. what a year it's fucking been Let's go Jeez we've done, we've done a lot this year boys the improvements the pod the production and the company. <laughs> Jeff, welcome back. Hey, thanks for having me, Das. It's good to be here. Um, we're all on holidays. It's good to be on holidays. The only problem is I'm watching too much porn at the moment. Same. It's nearly becoming like coffee to me. Mm. I need a first thing in the morning and it has to be black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nah, that's funny. Sounds like mine. Lewis, how are you, sir? That's funny because I like my coffee gaping. <laughs> <laughs> With a splash of cream. I wasn't bad on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's good. good. A gaping oh, coffee. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes, please. Double shot with a splash of cream. Can I have a, a triple B. All right, let's get better. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually let's, not bad. Let's cut this. <laughs> BBW. Ooh. Oh, that's not I'll have bad. the eggs, Benny, oh. and the young milf. Oh, that's really right. The hand. <laughs> All right, boys, last week, we went 15 out of 22 legs, 68% so close for a dinner for two. Jeff, do you have any bad legs? Yeah, I, well, I went seven from eight. I only had one loser, and Jeff. that was Detroit head-to-head -head against the Panthers. Detroit had to win to make playoffs. I thought, they'll, they'll just get this done no matter what, and they just got little buoyed by the Panthers. Ran all over. It was, they were on track for, at one stage for the most rushing yards in a game in history. Wow. And it was well over 200 yards, so the Panthers... Yeah, that was just, in that first half the other week. That yeah, was insane. the Panthers just bullied Detroit, and I was flat. So that was my only losing leg. What about you, Lou? Yeah, well, it's good. it was good to just match up with the organisation, Dars. I had Derek Carr, my only loss for last week, and they've just decided to bench him, which yeah. is what I was going to be doing, quite <laughs> honestly. I don't know. I've bet on him probably too many times this year. I reckon I've gone three and three with him this year. I just thought last... It had to be same as you, Jeb. I just thought that was the one. If Carr was going to win one, still technically alive, the Raiders were. And you see what's happened now. It's sort of... Up in smoke, the Raiders, and uh, so I've shipped Carr off. Well, I, I so backed late. you in for that league, especially because I went for Tay Adams on that. Like, they had to win. Had him for 50, didn't get it. Christian McCaffrey had him for 60, another very good player, didn't get it because they were running everyone else. Uh, had Stefan Diggs, another good player. You thought that he'd 100% get it, only got 37 yards. Need him for 40. Mixon... My man, I'm like, here he goes. He's going to touch one in. Ran one in. Got a holding penalty. Got called back. That's he got right, that taken good. off. That's and then batted Mahomes against, I thought at home that he'd get over 300, averaging 327 in a home game. Um, they barely got the footy. Like, by the time they yeah. got the ball, they just kept running it. And they didn't. So, to lose off Mahomes, Mixon touchdown that he scored, and they called it back. Diggs, Christian McCaffrey, and Tay Adams. Stiff. I fuck. If good players let you down this time of year, wear fuck, it. Oh, and I'm wearing it. Egg on my face. Egg on my fucking face. Could be a Big Mac in my gullet as well yeah. at this stage. Now, Jeff, good legs though. There's yeah. plenty of them. Yeah, I went all results heavy last week because results matter so much this time of the year trying to make players. So I had Buffalo win, Bengals win, Bucks win, and the Chargers win. So they were good. They were all good That's legs. Good. And then Burrow for 225. He's a stud. I said Derrick Henry over 111.5 yards and any time touch. Hit that. Hit, but like we were talking like 150 yards, two tuds plus. He owns the Texans. The Texans finally beat him and they I, they didn't hold him to much over 111.5. Well, stupid so, play call. They just stopped running yeah. the ball. So I actually stupid. think the Texans got the last laugh, but he still hit over his 111.5. So Sportsbet got that wrong. Uh, Lewis. Yeah, well, my other, I only had five legs. I had Jefferson over, so my steak and eggs finally just back on the boards with a steak and egg. Well, only one and a half was easy. Kittle, anytime. I, on TikTok, I got a lot of hate saying I've cost the multi. He ended up having two. I got $3.60 for that. I uh, got for 225 and DK for 60. So four and five last week. And I don't want to jump the early crow. We discussed earlier, Jeff. So we're going to go to uh, divisional round. So we're not going to do conference round included in the Excel spreadsheet because right. there's not enough games to bet on. Right. So we've got three more weeks. Is that right, Darcy? I believe so. So if we go this week, now next week, and then the first week of playoffs. Yes, that's correct. So that's I, I don't want to go the early crow, but 
think I might have done enough. I reckon you're, you're, yeah. I reckon you're yeah, home. Yeah, I, I reckon you're safe. Well, what are you on? 64%. 64 Nintendo. I'm on 60. And I'm on 59. Jeff's on 59. So He's come up a, a heap after last week. I gained week a percent. He lost a percent. I, I, I need it. I need a big win. So, well, my good legs, boys, had Cook for 60, Mixon for 40, 49 is to win, which I was comfortable. AJ Brown, we weren't sure if he was going to play. Yeah. Um, he pretty much got the 60 yards in the first minutes. two first plays, catch, first yeah. two catches. So, that hit. Now, boys... Um, been a massive year. We've, we've, we've had a lot on. We've got a lot <laughs> coming with next year. I'm Obviously, we've got the back end of this. <laughs> got the AFL coming up. This up now. Um, back end of the year, we will be doing a Big Bash uh, pod coming up soon. No. So, Big Bash <laughs> coming in. That? Average it's cricketers. Pure, it's just purely callers. Uh, you have to get someone else in. <laughs> I won't be on that one. I get pricey. Like I said, so we've got three more weeks of this. Morg's in front on 64%. I'm coming second in 60. Jev, third on 59, but looks to be climbing late in the season. So we've only got a few more weeks. The loser spends 24 hours at Macca's. The other two, however many steak and eggs they lost, have to join in. And then that's an hour for every Big Mac. Big Mac. Correct. Beautiful. Fuck, it's going to be good. All right, boys, let's crack into it now. Obviously, the lines aren't out, so we've just sort of come through with a QB leg, wide receiver, running back, uh, touchdown, and a result. Um, and then, obviously, we'll post the multi on Sunday right before the games come out. Uh, Jev, quarterback, what's a leg that you'll be looking for? i got two. Anyone else got two? No, I've just, just got one. Because I'll go one, and then I'll go around again if you want. Sure. I'll go one first. I'll go first. So, I'm going to go... I was looking at Josh Allen and against playoff teams. So, like, he hasn't actually been in the greatest form. So, I thought I'll put him up against playoff teams when he's played playoff like teams it. this year. Like it. Because he's playing the Bengals this week in what is probably the be- nearly the best game of the season. It's, it's going to be unbelievable. Like, it's unbelievable. Is it, Monday night that's, football. That's, that's the betting game. Yeah, that's everything huge. that is unreal. So, I'm looking at Josh Allen. So, he's only played play- playoff teams five times this year. Against yep. Miami, he had 400 yards and two. Yep. Ravens, 213 and one. So, we'll give him a mull- like mulligan on that. Pa. Chiefs three twenty nine and three, Vikings three thirty and one, and then Miami again. He had three hundred and four touchdowns. Yeah, so he's actually played really well in his five times against playoff teams. Bengals are a playoff team. He averages three fifteen yards against playoff teams. So I reckon his line's going to yeah, be about the two eighty mark or something. And I would love to smash that over. Love that. It's yeah. almost like he struggles to to force it against those teams that yeah. he doesn't necessarily need to. When he has to, when he, he has to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's a good player. It's not like he's a fake good player. So. Yeah, he is. He's no, a that's start. Uh, really well done, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, mate. You go. Like. Uh, first one in a while. I've done it properly because usually I say the bloke at the start, but I've got a game of our favourite game called Who Am I? Here we go. So last time I played the team that I'm playing this week, I had 277 and two touchdowns. My last three, I've had 299, 460, and 425. And in my career, I've made $201,669,486. Who am I? Brett Favre. Ah, oh, fuck. i got no idea. Uh, Brett Favre. <laughs> I'm Kirk Cousins, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Kirk! So we say Rogers owns the division. So Kirk's 5-3-1 and one against the Packers. So I don't know about you, but that's not only the division in my books. Averages 281 and two touchdowns against Green Bay. And guess what, lads? It's an afternoon game. So <laughs> I'm very Kirk. Kirkish. What can I say? I don't know what I'm going to be yet. So I'm not sure. If we're not having many bets on it, I want the two tuds. If it's one and a half tuds, that can be the only bet in the game. So it's unlikely that yeah. you blokes won't be betting. But if you're not, I'll be guzzling up the 1.5. If not, it'll be yards. But I just love Kirk in this spot. And I think this is one of those ones that Green Bay, this is going to be a huge game for sure. And I think that's Kirk on his best in the afternoon. If it was a prime time, I wouldn't touch it. I like that. Yeah, saying that, that one and a half tard or even two and a half tard, there's actually a few games I love that leg mm. this week. Trevor Lawrence versus the Texans. If you guys don't have any legs, I'll be eating yeah. up Trevor Yeah, love. So maybe if we get together yeah. Sunday morning yeah. for a... <laughs> A gaping and a long black. Oh. <laughs> you might be able to, and we might get a coffee. We haven't bet on Kirk enough, I've, I realised as well. You sort in and out. Yeah, I think he let us down bad. You saw in and out. As soon as you went outside the Arvo. Like, <laughs> I think that's on us though. We chase him into the 7pm <laughs> yeah. slot. Sorry. Now, something I might be looking for because his line's usually pretty short, but Baker for 200 is both games that he's played at home. He's had over 230 yards. He'll be at home against the Chargers. Uh, he played really well last week. I feel that they're just opening up the playbook. We've got nothing to lose. So whether it not be a stake and eggs, but if it's that close, like the shortest market for a quarterback you can go is 200. So I don't know if they're going to, if they keep his line around there, I might take a stake and eggs in that game. Um, I'm not sure, yeah. but Baker for 200. I love that against I've, the Chargers. Yeah, just got one more quarterback. This man's numbers are so fucking impressive. Like going through them, I had to write some of them down. Yeah, Jared Goff. Jared Goff's numbers are so so he he's a gunslinger. He hasn't had an interception since week nine. This is week seventeen. Week nine, the seventh of November, his last interception. 
He averages 275 passing yards a game in those seven games since a pick. That is great. And then he's playing at home against the Bears. So they they should win. They're playing at dollar thirty yeah. lines. I'm like, what and are his in home, the dome. what are his home stats? He averages two seventy seven yards a game and two point five passing touchdowns. So he's thrown twenty passing touchdowns in his eight home games this year and then averages two hundred and seventy seven yards at home. They are great stats. Fucking oath. Great stats. 250. Uh, yeah, there's another over 1.5 tart. If his line is 1.5. Yeah, 100% absolutely. need another multi of just QBs over. Yeah. Over yeah. their passing 1. tarts. 1.5 tarts, I'll be eating Goff. Because Jamal Williams hurt his ankle a little bit last week. So, yeah. John Drake Swift could be a good leg this week. But also, Goff just slinging it. Just, had a, quick, just had a quick look. For three out of the last four, he's had two tarts. So, yeah. I reckon if you can get yeah. your one and a half. There you go. Jared Goff and under 1.5 Especially at home. When they, when they got the dome. No, nah, that's a fucking good leg, Jared. Uh, running backs. Who do we like? Go first, Lou. Oh, you go, mate. Right. Let's have a game of who am I? <laughs> no, here we go. Who am I? This is my last five weeks 74 rushing yards, 139 and one touchdown, 52, 54, 55, averaging 75 yards. My last five games, who am I to ask? Todd Gurley's last five games, I'd have to be Jim Brown. The rookie, Tyler Algier. Algier. L, whoever these it's his offense, are. I guess. Algier for the Atlanta Falcons. He runs. Like, he runs fucking hard. Like he a road runs, apple. He runs like a wounded bull, that man. He <laughs> runs hard. Against the Cardinals, who are absolutely shithouse in all <laughs> phases of a football. A wounded bull, that's got me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like how do for 60 plus. Like, yeah, just, that's... Uh, yeah, he'll run against the Cardinals. They actually will probably win. I swear they can still win the division, the Falcons. I don't think they're out yet. The they South, oh, I can't confirm. They obviously need shit to go their way, but yeah. I reckon they'll just beat the Falcons. They'll handle the Falcons. He'll run. He's 50 yards. He runs fucking hard. 139-1, two weeks. That's a big day. I like it. Helps you. He's a rookie too. He's got yeah. only he's got everything juice. to prove. So yeah. I love he's got that. Juice. Let's go. Now, well done. Uh, I'm going on Saquon. Again, a little bit of not sure. I'm not sure this is going to be touched down any time. But uh, again, I reckon we've sort of missed him the last couple of weeks. Have we bet on him for the last two or three no, weeks? We I don't think we have. He's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's back in form. You should see his fantasy points. Um, the man is back. Giants are the sixth seed, and they're only one win ahead against the seven win commanders. Last two, he's had 87, 84, each with a tud, and they come up the 27th rank run defense in Indy who absolutely stink the Giants are in no position to just throw a game away so even though the Indy stink they're going to have to win this and win this well and I think that means that Saquon scores yeah I agree I just don't I, you, guys, you, guys are, you guys are going to run the ball all over him yeah. so yeah I'll probably have him to score but we'll see let's go love that um, I'll be taking I'll be looking at sorry Cam Akers' line so he coming into last week have a guess what his average was Per game, like, like it's, it's pretty shit. 30? 12, he stank. 36 yards per game. So even after his 118 yard, three touchdown Christmas special last week, he's still only averaging 43 yards a game. Chargers are ranked number 25 against the run. Look for the Rams to double down on what they did last week, whether it could be a stake and ease. If his line's around 40, or you could get him, that means you could still get a dollar seventy for 25, mate. Oh, no, they'll probably push that up. But what's the shortest? 40. You still probably get like a dollar sixty, which I think would be yeah, like they're going to give him a yeah. shit ton of carries. So I think it's a lot of value there. So that's one that I'll be looking at, especially when it's indoors as well. It worked last week. Him and Baker, I reckon they're going to go back to the exact same formula. So that's a market he I'll be like looking a, at. Looked like a different bloke on Christmas he looked, Day. He looked like a different no, that was bloke. Fucked. So something's. Was Broncos weren't trying to tackle with their arms They've and just up. try and use their yeah. chest. They've yeah, I think, yeah, something will come out at the end of the year, I reckon. Yeah, but the fact that they're 25th against the, the run, Broncos were 21 against the run last week and had a shocker, but who knows, back in the home stadium, I still like the format. New head coach too, upset alert. I reckon, the, I don't mind the Broncos, the new coach. You hear that today on a certain show? With oh, I actually they did not. What for us that too, but yeah, I, I like that a lot. All right, boys, wide receivers, there are so many good ones. Now, I know you said it last week, and I was going to interrupt. Oh, you're probably going to say it now. We haven't discussed. Mum's hot. But I know you had the Mike Williams jersey. Like, we have to do it this week. Like, if he misses at home, he's going to get 100 this week against the Rams. We have no one. Like, I reckon if you make it this week, you sort of brought it out last week. He just got under. He's going to get 100 this right, week. I'll look at him 100 again this week. I'm Connors Club. No, yes. at, at home... I like it. I like I'll, it. I'll well. think it on the drive. Oh my god! She will say it. Hundred percent. He four, went four hundreds. Four hundreds. Didn't hit it, and then hit it. I, I reckon. I reckon against right us, he's fucking got yeah, a good. It's Chargers home game. Yep. No, but it's a, against yeah. us though. Like he, he's been in such good form. He had seventy six. He had thirty five in like seventeen, seventeen back to back. Keenan Allen still playing. I've told you all year, Ramsey's washed. If, if Ramsey will take one, if we got our other corner, yeah, like no, I'm telling form. you, he'll cook him. So. Okay. Back to the Mike Williams 100 yard well. Let's go. <laughs> I'm keen. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, anyway, my wide receiver is another rookie, Jahan Dotson. You know much about him, Lou? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Where's he uh, from? No, no, not too Washington. much. No, anyway, he plays, 
plays at the Cabanas. Plays, plays Plays hard. He's so I've noticed last three weeks how like I noticed last week how well he's been playing. His last three weeks he's gone seventy six, hundred and five, and fifty four, averaging seventy eight yards over three weeks and a tud every week. Yeah, he's right. had three tuds in three weeks, so he's looking fucking good that way. But I because re- Carson Wentz is starting again. Well, is he really? That's yeah, what I was about to ask. He you. dropped Heineken. Yeah, okay. And the reason I'm betting on him is I remember at the start yeah, of the absolutely. year I was betting on him. He was Carson Wentz's favorite target. Yeah. So I went back and looked at the stats. He only averaged 45 yards his first four weeks. Rookie receiver, it's hard to actually yeah. put up big 100 games. But he had a tud in every game of his first four weeks as well as a rookie. So to score, you reckon? Start, I like well, it. Well, yeah, 40 yards, even a tud, maybe 50 who, 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 yards. Is that versus? It's a close game, isn't it? Is that got oh, I'm unsure. Washington uh, I will have it. Uh, the Browns at home. Yeah, that's... 50 yards or a tad. I, I reckon we're going to get about a dollar sixty for 50 yards to us. Yeah. And I'll be taking that. Jahan no, Dodson. Cool. It's honestly your leg, but I reckon the yards is probably the play. Yeah. Only the fact that it's the dirty Browns. Yeah. yeah. And they're actually good at stopping the pass. They're no good at stopping the run. So, But yeah, I rate that. You definitely, he was Wentz's favourite target. target. That's all you heard about. Yeah. So I love that leg. Well done. Let's well done. Uh, receivers. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually have here, I reckon I've got this week's easiest bet in sports. Oh, I think I know what it is. In all sports. This is the week. It's the game script. It's the week script. And it's Armin Ra St. Brown for 70 yards. Uh, that wasn't what I thought, but that's fine. <laughs> Who do you think it's going to be? Justin Jefferson. No, oh. that's a good leg too. But he's averaging 91 <laughs> his last think- five. 75 yards on the season, which tells me his line will be about 80. So I've just okay. averaged it. But I, just, I think it'll be about 80. Dollar 70, I reckon, we'll get for 70 yards. But they like the Giants. They can't They can't stop losing. You thought, well, they can't stop winning, sorry. Yeah. You thought they'd win last week, Jeff. Yeah. But he's just an unbelievable target. And again, if you spread out Goff's yards, so we're always looking at yards, so about 250 a game. So those 250 have to go to someone. someone. And he's probably the main target. So yeah. I reckon 70 is a great bet. Amon Ra St. Brown at home is a great bet. And I reckon I can still get dollar sixty for seventy yards, and I'll be gobbling it all up. Yeah, let's eat that up. I Please. love that. In, um, the, in the dome. Um, look, I'll be looking at Stefan Diggs, boys, more. I think you said last week. I'm dead set like a drug addict for some certain players, <laughs> and he's one of them. Um, Diggs has had some disappointing games this year. He's had some monster games, um, but I think prime time Kansas will roll over um, Broncos. So. The Bills need to beat the Bengals in order to still be the one seed. Am I correct? That's correct. So they need to win this game. They need to get their number one wide receiver yeah, back in form. His last three games, boys, he's had 26, 60, and 37. Now, he's currently questionable. Um, apparently, he's been a bit sick early in the week. If he's fit to go, right. I'll be taking him. If he's not fit to go, there's a plen- a lot of other receivers. Gabe Davis will get his fair share. Sure. He always calls Justin Jefferson. Well, we said that because he... They still want him to break the record. So yep. I, he's going to get a shit ton of yards or any other Bengals receivers on prime time because Joey's going to be throwing the ball. I think it's going to be a shit ton of yards in that game, but Diggs needs to step up. So for some sort of yards, I'll be taking him. If not, Gabe Davis will get his fair share. Justin Jefferson. There's heaps of receivers to choose from this week. I reckon they gave Diggs uh, like in-season rest last week. Like he played. It has to. Yeah, he, sure. he played, yeah. but they sort of rested him in-season. He's, he's getting no time. And like, even you watch him off the line because I was watching against the Jets. He just like, just shake, like wouldn't even go on with the route. Like he just it's, knew it wasn't coming to it's him. It's even like today. They didn't even play Derrick Henry today against the Cowboys because their season depends um, on them against Jacksonville next week. Nah. Oh, they're right. going to beat Jacksonville next week. So they've just yeah. in season rested Henry because all they care about. Yeah, so hard. like all the Bills care about is beating the Bengals. They rested Diggs last week. Even though like, like he has to have yeah. a bigger. It, it could be a games played bonus, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. The, well, you, all the, it's the cash. We're almost getting to the time of the year where it's like the first four weeks, it's like you're either hot or you do, where good players haven't stepped up. And now it comes to the cutthroat end of the season where players have to step up. So you know they're going to get their share of targets. So this is the week we fucking hit. This, and before you go on, none of us bet on Je- Justin Jefferson. He's about to go for 2,000 yards, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, over the next two weeks, he needs no, he, he, he needs two hundred. Well, last week he needed to average one hundred twenty six and three three. And what did he have last week? He had one hundred. Yeah, he had over he had like one hundred and forty. Are you sure? Yeah. I think yeah. he had just on it. No, he, I think he had yeah, right yeah, So he's staying at his average. Yeah, so, yeah he so was going to have 125. That's what I mean. 100% he's going to have 125. Oh, I, I reckon so he that, might that, find that, his that, way in. That's what I thought when you said, I thought it was Jefferson for so sure. It's a prediction spot. Even Diney. Like, we're talking for 90. 100. Like, fucking it was only 91 and a half last week. So Yeah, if it's around that, fucking know. You'll get And like, their ego is getting in the way. Like, he will oh, yeah. want that 2,000. I'm sure it'd be in the contract or whatever. As I said so last if week, you break a record, I reckon you see you see the Vikings that they just hot. He is the yeah, guy, so they are going to want that. There's going to be from word from upstairs for and sure. He put his name in the MVP conversation this week. So, but can you imagine fans? Is it at home? Are they at home this week? Nah, it's at oh, but fair, like 
for them to see like a Vikings player break the record, like it, and it'd be nuts. On a side note, if he's having 120, you know he's throwing it to him. So <laughs> Kirk. Hey, doubles, Aye, we're doubles. Have a I worked last there. week. <laughs> I worked last week with Tay Adams and uh, Derek Carr. Well Fantastic. worked, in Jeff. Oh. <laughs> right, touchdown, boys. Who do we like? Uh this. Yeah, I couldn't actually get one. I absolutely loved. What I do know, I love Benton is. Green, any receiver against the Vikings. They can't stop anything. Last week... They do suck. Last week, a guy named Richie James for the Giants had 100 yards. So I'm looking at Christian Watson or Romeo Dubs for a touchdown yeah, on the yeah. Vikings. Then a trend we should have got on last week, and I knew it last week, but I didn't write it down. Jarek McKinnon from the Chiefs has six touchdowns in his last four games, mm-hmm. and two against the Broncos when they played two weeks ago. There's another one. And then this one is probably my favourite. Oh, we'll see. I like them all. But T. Higgins, yeah. he has won in every game of his last four games. Well, is he not the perfect number two for Jamar Chase? Like, um, he is He's a, a beacon. He Tall, is a yeah. beast at jump balls. When he gets one and one, when Jamar gets doubled and Joe throws up to him, he's an absolute stud. So I'm looking in all that direction. You should I be looking can. at Mike Williams to score. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can just see him. Mike Dubs, 100 yards I and a tad. Let's go. Oh, I can see it. Uh, Lewis. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back to Georgie Kittle. I don't think I'm going to get my 360 like I did last week, but I just can't say no to this. So I, I said to you, rookies love tight ends, and I said Brock especially loves Kittle. I had a look. Last week, uh, Kittle had the, the second-ranked share in the whole league of passes. So he had 39% of the offense straight to Kittle. That's an unbelievable number. The Raiders are 23rd-ranked defense in tight ends, and obviously, as we said, the Raiders are shot. But yeah, I just don't, the Niners aren't a team that are just going to let the foot off the gas. No. And that's one man that Kittle, he can't help himself. So 360, I don't think I'll get 360 again, but I reckon I'll get probably 290 again for some reason. How many has he scored the last couple of weeks? He's had, uh, well, he's had the six two last in the last five. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. if, you, if I got 360 last week, I'm going to get a similar. I don't know what they're doing. but The yeah. only pushback I'll give you on this one, Please. Lewis, is... Sam Fran might start actively resting players. Like, he might only play the first half. They've locked up the division. Yeah. They've basically locked up the two seed. Or are they the three seed? Oh, they, can uh, still, they can still swap with the Vikings. That's fair. But, like, if they get in front, he doesn't score in the first half. He might only get one catch, one target in the second half. No, I, I'm with you. I just think my only reason, coming back to you, I love the discussion, though. I think they can't afford to let Brock out of his rhythm. Yeah, okay. If it was Jimmy, I would agree with you. Just keep doing what just, you're doing. And I get, I mean, but I just don't think Shanahan's that sort of guy. Yeah. Is he a really arresting guy? You know, he's, he's just smash mouth. But that's my only thing. I reckon but, the fact that it's Brock, if he's throwing a buddy Joe Kapitzi, <laughs> I just don't think the rhythm's as good going into the next week. I don't like. I don't mind Joe Kapitzi. <laughs> the fourth. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't like just saying that. No, no, I wouldn't be betting on Christian McCaffrey this week. Like who, no, that, I he, would agree. So he cost you last week. So he's going to get healthy for round one of playoffs. So he'll only probably get yeah. five, six to ten carries. And then they'll just keep him healthy. He might punch one in still, but then I'd just be worried about George Kittle. If he doesn't have it by half time, he, you might not see him much yeah. in the second half. No, nah, it's fair. Uh, come back to me. I'll find out. They're currently the three seed, so I'll yeah. find out who that means they'd be playing, and then we'll. Uh, re- um, well, re- my re- touchdown, the, boys. I'll be the taking. <laughs> get the, I think the Giants have to go to San Fran. We're going to get bathed. Yeah. So uh, I'll be taking someone have committed. Ideally, at the moment, Isaiah Pacheco for a touchdown anywhere Thank in you. the Kansas City running back room. We saw what the Rams did to the Broncos last week. I think they're going to absolutely torch him. He could get one, potentially two, um, whether it's a rush or a little screenplay. Like they'll come up with some wizardry, some trickery on the line where they'll get the running backs in. But they get they move down the ground so fast. They're in the red zone. They can do so many things. They'll probably not want the receivers. As I said, they're pretty much locked up playoffs. Doing too many slams, trying to get guys injured. Just hand it to the guys, especially Pacheco is a young fella. Um, they'll probably be trying to rest a few of the others. Let let him go. Let him run in. So I absolutely love him or any of the other running backs in that running back room for a touchdown. But I reckon they smoke him, run through him. Especially, that's something they haven't been doing that much previous years. Even with Clyde edwards helaire but the last, like this whole season, they've been unbelievable with the run. So I'll be looking to double down on that. What's Clyde? Is he a third or fourth? Well, he was the one when he went on IR. No, no. Well, three. I mean, I think they're moving on, moving him on. They haven't spent Tyreek's money yet that they saved. I don't see why you no, would I, pay Clyde Edwards. I, I, I reckon they'll get rid of him. I don't think they get much McKinnon for him. But and Pacheco. Pacheco. Yeah, Pacheco yeah I think there's your double. He runs hard, <laughs> like a wounded bull. Like a wounded bull. Like a wounded bull. Like a um, I, boys, results. Who? What results do we like? There's a few that I reckon. Uh, yeah, so this is. Yeah, I went into the lab for this. So this is where I do my best work, to us. Thanks. So yeah, because I think you need one, do you? Luke? Yeah. All right, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> So, the ch- like, charges against the Rams. I know they're $1.35, a bit short, but it actually means nothing to the Rams, and the Chargers have to win. They have to win. Oh, they've locked up playoffs, actually. 
So maybe that's not a good one. <laughs> Leave that one out. <laughs> I didn't think about that part. But the Giants against the Colts is a good one. Giants at a dollar forty against the Colts. The Giants have to win. They're not locked up playoffs yet. So dollar forty for a must win team where the Colts all they're worried about is a draft pick. They don't need a win. They don't care. Jeff yep. Saturday stinks. Giants win. No, that's a must. Jags beat the Texans. Jags are currently even with the Titans, and they lost today. So if the Jags win, they go one game up with one game to go on the Titans to yep. win that division. Yep. Jags at $1.49 against the Texans. The Texans yeah, need to that. stop winning. They're the number one pick right now. If they win, they go to number two or three. They go behind the Bears. They beat the Bears. They're on t- are they on two wins, Bears on three? Bears on three. Mm. The Texans actually need to lose this game, and the Jags need to win. Yep. They're at $1.49. It's at the Texans, but I don't actually care. I know the Texans have been good the last couple of weeks, but Jags win that. Washington at home at $1.76 against the Browns. Washington can still make playoffs. They're the right now the seventh team to win. They're at $1.76 against the Browns. Deshaun stinks. He absolutely yeah, stinks. Not working. And the Washington defense is actually uh, playing good and Chase Young well. back. Ch- Chase Young's back. They're going to get after Deshaun. He pongs. <laughs> that $1.76, that is great value. I actually like that. And then the Lions at $1.35 against the Bears. I think 12, 35 is a little too much. We read Goff stats. We read St. Brown stats. The Bears are that team at the moment that are improving out of sight, but they just can't win. They actually yeah. need the draft pick. They want pick two. Yeah. If that was at Chicago, it would scare me. It shouldn't, yeah. but yeah. it would. Uh, but under, under the dome, they, under they, they dome. get it done. I honestly think Giants there at $1. forty is is better the round. Better round. Like I, that, I think that's the best bet in probably a month. <laughs> Sports. I think Jags. Apart from Justin Jefferson's over this one. <laughs> There's yeah. your treble. Result, Lou. Any no, others you Giants. like? No, you honestly, Giants. Giants. I honestly think that I'll, I'll have – I'll clear it with the missus, but I'll have most of the super on that. <laughs> Maybe the mortgage. <laughs> Schmorgage. <laughs> uh, boys, I'll be looking to take the Eagles at home against the Saints. There's nothing that I like about the Saints. I reckon they stink. No, they Give me Minshew Mania. $1.31, Jev. Uh, across all phases, I reckon they are far too good. They're a team that won't let their foot off the gas. Go. Um, I just reckon they'll run it down their throat. They'll stop anything that they're trying to do. Taysom Hill's not good enough to try and trick them. Uh, and Taysom. Sauce Dalton, not even sure if he's playing, but yeah, I absolutely love the Eagles. Dollar 31 at home. So those are the legs. So those are all the things we're looking brilliant. forward towards. Um, take all this information in over the next few days. The multi will be out Sunday. Crack into it. Fucking get after it. It's actually the perfect week. So uh, news day is the Sunday and then you wake up early Monday morning you recover from your news day you get your hangover wake ready to go early, watch a bucket load of NFL on that Monday let's go probably our most insightful show ever oh ever the last one of the year a couple of co- co- couple of coffee Took gags not, to get it right not too many gags but just Important a, a gags. great show <laughs> a couple of experts a couple of spurts who average 60% we're spurts <laughs> upper spurts oh. chili Talking hot spurts Tot- Tottenham hot spurts. He just said that. Hot gems. Hot meniscus. Your mum's uh, meniscus. She plays for St. George. Jeff, prediction. How much money do you have on the Giants? Uh, they win. Sack one scores. Giants win. 25 to 14. Rams beat the Chargers. You heard it here first. Chili. Baby, Baby back, back ribs. Rabs. 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 <laughs>